Following God's direction is very important in the life of every believer, especially when it comes to the issue of choosing a spouse. God holds the institution of marriage sacred, hence it is important to totally trust in His leading and directions. God knows the end from the beginning. He is the Almighty God and this is why you should listen and totally obey Him when He is giving a message or a direction. When it comes to taking a spouse or choosing a partner, God is involved by either showing you who to marry or approving who you choose to marry. God choosing and showing you who to marry does not mean He has not given you a free will to make your choice or your decision. When God chooses for you, it is because He wants the best for you. However, as a believer, you have been given the opportunity to choose who you want to be with and love. There must, however, be a clear approval from God Himself concerning your union to that man or woman. When God clearly shows you He wants you both to be joined together, He will give you signs that show He has approved of your relationship or marriage. There are so many things you have to consider before making that person your partner forever. So many Christians today have allowed little enticement such as physical beauty, wealth, fashion, education, qualification, and the rest cloud their judgment in making the right decision concerning marriage or relationship. It is not that all these attributes are bad in making a choice for a spouse. However, they should not be your priority. The first and most important thing to consider when considering choosing a spouse is to hear from God. So many people are not even ready for a relationship or marriage. So many do not have the understanding of getting into a relationship or marriage, hence they are not even prepared. It is important to know God's will and purpose concerning any union you plan to have with your intended spouse. It is okay that you are physically attracted to that person, but is that person ready to love God? Have you taken that person to prayers and inquired of the Lord if that man or woman is God's will for you? One of the things you must look out for is if the person is really born again and committed to the service of God. It is not just by playing church member or pretending to be born again. Some people go to the house of God today for so many reasons. Most young men and women come to church to survey and look for unsuspecting children of God like you in a desperate bid to get a spouse. This is why Jesus told us to be careful in Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 about wolves in sheep's clothing who have come to deceive and cause disruption among the children of God. This is why as a child of God, you should be filled with the Spirit of God. This will enable you to discern the kind of people you are attracted to and to know their true intentions for you. The person you may have fallen in love with might be someone who is a pretender. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 says we must take heed if we think we stand so we do not fall. As a Christian who is searching for the right person for a relationship, you must totally seek God's will and direction concerning whom you are really attracted to. Only then can you really have a peaceful and godly relationship. In a case where you are attached to someone, you must be alert in the spiritual realm to know who you associate with, who you are expressing your feelings for. When the Spirit of God lives in you, He will guide you and direct you in such matters. The Spirit of God cannot be in you and then you fall in love with an unbeliever. No, that is not the Spirit of God in you. Examine such spirit. You cannot be equally yoked with an unbeliever. So many believers are of the thought that they can change such person. God's word tells us that by strength no man shall prevail in 1 Samuel chapter 2 verse 9. They think they can change their partner for good by their own will. This is a very wrong assumption. What has light got to do with darkness? The Spirit of God in you will never let you go for a spouse who is an unbeliever. Rather, He will make you see someone who can help you with your walk with God. He will only bring someone whose purpose aligns with yours. Iron sharpeneth iron. So when God is directing you in making a choice for a spouse, He will bring you someone who can help you grow spiritually in every other aspects of your life and vice versa. 
It is important to know that when God is directing you to a particular person, it does not mean the person is totally perfect. However, you will have peace and tranquility in your heart because you obeyed God. The person you love may not be God's will for you. As humans, we are tempted to look at physical appearance and academic intellect and so many physical attributes in the life of someone you have feelings for. God does not look at the physical. No, He looks into the heart. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 tells us that while man looks at the physical appearance, God looks into the heart of man. God is a discerner of every thought and intents of the heart. So, when God knows something or someone is not right for his children, he will make a way to avert it and warn you. Even the devil and his agents come as deceptive angels of light to deceive the very elect of God. The devil's aim is to bring down God's children in any way possible, just to achieve his aim in destroying God's purpose for our lives. This is why we should be vigilant and watchful not to let their spiritual guard down in any way. The so-called spouse you have totally fallen for might be an agent of the devil or from the dark covens of the devil sent to entice and destroy God's mandate for you. Remember, the devil is as a roaring lion seeking for whom to devour, as 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 tells us. Do not be deceived by the beauty or charm of that person. Stand firm and totally trust in the will of God. When we totally trust in the will and direction of God, He will never lead us astray. There are so many reasons God is allowing you to develop strong feeling of love towards someone. When you begin to notice the other person's goal encompasses yours, when you are both committed to helping each other grow, when you begin to experience growth in your daily lives, then it is a sign that God wants you to be together as a couple. Remember, one of the major reasons for marriage is for companionship. So when God is leading you to a person you have feelings for, it shows He is fully in support of your relationship as long as you are in a good and perfect relationship with God. This is because God will subconsciously guide you and make you take the right decision when it comes to choosing a spouse. It is always important to always seek the face of God in prayer. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It is important to always listen to the voice of God by studying His word daily. When you study the word of God, He will speak to you through His word. It is important to know that God has good intentions for you and not evil. When there is a peace of mind in your heart concerning that spouse, then you are in line with God concerning your union. When God directs you to a spouse, He confirms it also with His servants and people in authority over your life, such as your parents, your pastors. When they approve of the relationship and the person, then it is a clear sign from God that you are in the right direction in terms of your relationship. It is very important to always put your choices in prayer to know God's will and direction for you in choosing the right person for a relationship that will align with the purpose of God over you. When you do all these, God will ensure you live in peace with your partner.